see, in the meantime, the crypto market fluctuation is happening every single day. The market price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other types of cryptocurrency has a significantly high level of fluctuations. Of course, as users, any of us will feel insecure about holding these freaking types of unstable money. That's why Stablecoin came in as a hero to save the day. It is designed to maintain the stability of the market and make it more durable. So, by how? These are the features of Stablecoin. First, Stablecoin can be pegged to the kind of stable merchandise in real life like cash, gold, or bond. Second, Stablecoin can keep and execute transaction in the cryptocurrency system. Finally, forget complicated procedures from centralized traditional banks. With stablecoin, nothing can stop you from borrowing transactions across the world. In the whole history of stablecoin's development, several are born, and among those stablecoins, the algorithmic ones are considered the most secure, stable, and suitable to the decentralized direction of blockchain. However, as you see, an algorithmic stablecoin lost its dollar peg. It created withdrawals and led to the sale of its sister token, Luna, which caused billions of dollars loss and the whole market was flooded with red caution and extremely alarming. The cost of Luna USD resulted in the loss of trust in the crypto users. Nevertheless, failure teaches success. It will become the premise for future blockchain technologies and algorithmic stablecoins. Talking about the future and an investor in blockchain technology, how would you wish a new stablecoin to appear? Welcome to Whiteboard Cardano. Instead of sitting there watching drawn-out clips of Mr. Charles Hoskinson, hereby even your grandma can easily understand the Cardano blockchain knowledge with images, examples, and illustration within just a few minutes. One topic per week. Let's discover it today. The topic today is Stablecoin DChat, the first algorithmic stablecoin on layer 1 of the Cardano ecosystem. Deploying on DeFi protocols for users to make payments, this stablecoin can open the DChat liquidity pool, can over collateralize with ADA, and can use Shen as a reserve coin. Well, basically, you can understand it as a decentralized algorithmic stablecoin secured by a relatively stable cryptocurrency and maintain its stability through a combination of collateralization and token or coin reserve on the Cardano Network's smart contract platform. Here, ADA is seen as a reserve currency that ensures the collateralization ratio and peg of the stablecoin to minimize the risk of devaluation for DCHAT. Think of it simply, an investor picks a foreign currency which is US dollars. Normally, we will buy when the price is low and sell it out when the price is high. And of course, the same applies to Cardano's DCHAT. When ADA price is low, buy. ADA price is high, sell it. External user will deposit ADA into a reserve pool and mint Shen and the reserve will happen when Shen is burned. Therefore, Shen acts as a value when referring to a particular identified object, such as a stock of a company. In the DChat protocol, it is important to understand the difference between two groups of users. First is DChat user. They are like customers who come to borrow money in the form of DChat tokens. They must provide assets of equivalent value, typically ADA tokens, as collateral for their loans. When they repay their loans, they get back their initial collateral and pay up their debt in DJ tokens, which represents their liabilities, or so-called L. The protocol must have enough valuable assets that can be liquidated to cover the liabilities in case of a shortfall. Second, regarding shareholders, they act like shareholders who contribute to the protocol's capital. The assets they contribute are ADA, which represent their equity. Now we call this one E. The role of E is to generate products using its own assets. This means that if the ADA on Shen is chain rate drops, they will lose a portion to their capital. Conversely, if the ADA on Shen rate increases, they will earn dividends from the fees collected by the protocol. It's important to note that the loss or gain of capital is temporary until the Shen hunters burn their tokens to retrieve their ADA. Finally, both DJET users and Shen holders need to be aware of a common figure called R, reverse, which represents the value of the reverse pool calculated by the formula R equal to equity plus liability. 
Next, let's consider the interaction between the protocol and users to better understand the operating mechanism between DChat and Shen. To mint a DChat stablecoin, users will have to interact with the smart contract by sending ADA, and then they will receive the corresponding amount of DChat. Assuming the price of ADA is $1 and DChat is $2, when minting DChat, users will send 2 ADA to the contract, and this process will be repeated to create a decentralized and automated bank. In case users want to sell DChat but there is not enough ADA in the reserve to repay it, Shen will appear to solve this problem. Furthermore, to ensure and maintain the protocol, a safe reserve ratio must be kept during the operation and is calculated by the formula R equal to reserve on liabilities. R must ensure that the mandatory collateralization ratio between DJET and ADA is within the range of 400 to 800 percent to maintain the PEG index. Assuming the ADA, Shen, and DJET prices are all the same at one dollar each, when Mr. Mouse wants to mint 500 Shen reserve coins, he must send 500 ADA to the reserve to mint Shen. When he wants to mint 100 DJET, he must send 100 ADA to the reserve. The ratio at this point is 1/6 or 600%. This means that 100 DJET minted will have 600 ADA in the reserve to ensure the collateral ratio. With this collateral ratio, we can continue to mint and burn DJET and Shen as long as this ratio is maintained at a safe level. The safety mechanism is, when the collateral ratio is above 800%, the protocol will not allow minting Shen tokens. When the collateral ratio is below 400%, the protocol will not allow minting DSHAN tokens or burning SHAN tokens. Continuing the example above, when the ratio is 600%, which means Mr. Mark's 100 ADA token is the liabilities, there will be 500 ADA token as the owner equity to secure it. If Mr. Mux then collateralize 80 ADA tokens to mint 80 DJET tokens, the collateral ratio will be like this. And the protocol will determine that E cannot cover L, and it will stop functioning until Shen holders add more ADA tokens to mint Shen tokens and increase E and R. Unlike the Luna USD model, which collapsed when these two currencies depended on each other, DHS is an algorithmic stablecoin that requires a high collateralization ratio, combining collateral assets and reserve tokens or coins, and has little connection to the ADA when DHS and Shen have different characteristics. Firstly, regarding the price volatility, DHS remains almost stable at $1 regardless of the price of ADA or Shen. Meanwhile, Shen has no limits to its price fluctuations and its degree of increase or decrease is proportional to the price of ADA. Secondly, in terms of transaction benefits, DJET will not receive any fees other than being freely tradable on exchanges. Meanwhile, Shen holders will receive three types of fee, Mint plus Burn DJET, Mint plus Burn Shen, and finally, Cardano transaction fees. What's even more special is that with Plutus V2, Shen holders will also receive staking rewards as they stake ADA into the pool system. Thirdly, regarding liquidity, DJET can be used with any other asset on the market. And if you don't want to betray it or hold it, you can exchange it for ADA at any registered DJET protocol. However, Shen can only be exchanged for ADA at a protocol and will be rejected if the collateral ratio is below 400%. Let me tell you one interesting fact about these stablecoins. DJET and Shen are based on two ancient Egyptian symbols. The DJET symbol is shaped like a column, resembling a pillar, and is associated with a god Osiris, representing stability and continuity. Similarly, the DJET stablecoin is backed beyond the value of ADA, regardless of the prices of ADA and Shen, and has a narrow price range around $0.95 to $1.05. On the other hand, the Shen symbol is circular with a horizontal bar at the bottom, representing protection and eternity. Therefore, the Shen token in DJET is a reserve currency that creates a connection and continuous stability for the algorithmic stablecoin. This is why the DJET coin is symbolized as a spinal column and the Shen token is symbolized as a circle on a horizontal bar. With the collateralization secured by ADA, DJET is considered as an independent asset with its own utility. Moreover, using the Shen token as a reserve currency, building a mechanism for mint and burn based on safe collateralization ratio, make this algorithmic stablecoin DJET ensure stable price.
What do you think of this new algorithmic stablecoin from Cardano? In the future, this year, a new stablecoin will also be launched in the market. Do you think they will have a different unique mechanism? Let us know! If you are interested, please like and subscribe then hit the notification bell to get the latest video. Please leave your comments, questions under the video. We'll try to explain and answer in the most understandable way. Thank you and see you soon!